Everyone wants to make their first $10,000, but has such a hard time doing it. And then on top of that, everyone just thinks about making $10,000 and that's about it. $10,000 seems to be the holy grail of profits, whether it be weekly, monthly, or daily. Now, with that being said, once you reach your first $10,000, then what? Now what happens? Are you done with your business? Are you going to shut down? Is that your ultimate goal? Is that all you wanted to do? No, you want to keep making $10,000 consistently, whether that be weekly or whether that be monthly or if possible at all daily. Now, obviously $10,000 a day seems pretty impossible to reach, but hey, you never know anything is possible. So with all of that out of the way, this video is going to focus on helping you make your first $10,000 and then continue scaling from there. So without waiting any longer, let's go ahead and run that intro and let's get started. What's going on everyone, Mario here with AutoDS and in today's video we're going to be talking about money and how you can make your first $10,000 and continue making some more after that. But before we get into it, as always, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Remember that on this channel we cover anything and everything dropshipping related, starting from some of the best tips and tricks to help you get started and succeed in the business, all the way to some of the best products for you to be able to offer for maximum profitability. And every once in a while we also throw in a couple of different videos to help you start making some money in a few different ways. Our job here is to help you succeed. So if that's something that interests you, just make sure you hit the subscribe button. Now, before we actually do get started, there's one thing that I need to know from all of you. Have you made your first $10,000? If so, how did it feel? Did you do anything special to actually get to that point? And have you gotten to the point where you're consistently making those $10,000 on either a monthly or a weekly basis? I'm really curious to know what your opinion is on this. Let me know down in the comments below. Now, making your first $10,000. Remember that $10,000 is just the beginning. After you hit those 10K, then you need to start scaling more. You're not gonna stop. You're gonna look for different ways to be able to keep making $10,000 or to start making even more. Ultimately, the goal is to make $10,000 weekly or monthly. Now, I know that sounds extremely hard and it sounds like an impossible goal to reach, but hear me out. You need to start small. Start with making your first $10 in actual profit. Then aim for your first $100. Then start aiming higher. Aim for your first thousand, your first 5,000, and then your first $10,000. And then of course, don't just look into making this money just one time. When you when you make your first $10, see how you can start making that every single week. Then see how you can start making your first $100 every single week. Then keep going as you start scaling. One extremely important thing that you all need to keep in mind is the fact that you cannot get discouraged. Of course, you are gonna get discouraged every once in a while. If things are gonna look dark, your goal is gonna seem like it's impossible to reach, but trust me, just keep going. If that's not necessarily working, try to rework it. Try to rework your marketing, make sure that the products or the services that you're offering have actual value behind them. Don't be scared to switch things up. You need to be honest with yourself when things aren't necessarily working and you need to figure out why. If it's because you have a crappy product, then you need to admit to it. You need to make sure that you're realistic with the things that you're offering. Is it something that you would pay whatever amount of money it is that you're charging for? If not, then lower the price or get rid of the item or service and replace it with something else. Now, how do you find the right products or services to sell? Well, if you're selling a service, then you need to make sure that it's a service that you are proficient in. You need to make sure that it's something that you're actually really good at doing, because if you suck at something, then you're not going to be able to make any good money off of it because you're not going to have returning customers. Now, if you're selling products and for example, if you're drop shipping, there's quite a few different resources that you can use to your advantage to find some best selling products. Now, of course, with the products that you do offer, you need to make sure for one that they're quality and two, you need to make sure that you have some pretty quick shipping, which with drop shipping can sometimes be a bit of a hassle. But trust me, there's different ways around all of this. So for one, if you're selling products, one of your best options to be able to source your products from is going to be the winning product section over at AutoDS.com. So in order to gain access to this, all you need to do is simply become a member of AutoDS. And then once you're logged in, just click on the marketplace. And then under that, you're going to have the winning products section. Once you click on this, you're going to see tons of different items that are currently trending and have a proven track record of selling in the past. Not only that, but if you need help with your marketing, if you don't know how to offer these products to the general public, or if you don't know how to market these, let's say on Facebook, then don't worry because we got you. So let's take, for example, this newborn baby swaddle. So as you can see, you have a few different variations here. You have the item cost. And if you scroll down, you have a little bit more insights. So you have a profit analysis, which lets you know more or less how much money you can make by actually drop shipping this item. So as you can see, most people are selling it for about $33. And since you're sourcing it for about $8.20 with your shipping, then you can potentially be looking at a profit of about $24.83. That's not that bad per sale. Now, on top of that, we also have an example of a Facebook ad that's currently running with this particular item. As 
you can see, this has some pretty good reactions. It has 214 likes and loves with 64 different comments and 22 shares. Now, if you're wondering how you can target that particular demographic or how you can target the same demographic that this company, B Bliss, targeted, then we can also help you out on that as well. So we also have a target audience section here that gives you all of the information that you need to be able to target these particular people. So as you can see, the settings for this particular ad for the target audience are going to be for both males and females between the ages of 20 and 45 with a marital status of both single and married with interests in baby care, parenting, nursery decor, and baby fashion. Now, as if all of that information isn't more than enough, we also have an actual website here that all you have to do is click on the link and it'll take you to a website selling this item as well. That can also help you with properly structuring your website. Now, aside from that, we also have the marketplace. Now, under the marketplace, you also have the AutoDS private suppliers and the AutoDS warehouse. This is where you can find some pretty quick shipping. As you can see, most of these items actually ship between two to four business days. And that's two to four business days for your customers to actually receive the product, not for the supplier to ship out the item. So that's pretty fast. Also, there are other resources that you can check out. So for one, you can check out the AutoDS Sell These Now playlist, where we give you an entire list of some of the best products to sell. Aside from that, you can also check out different websites like, let's say, AliExpress, and you can see their seller recommendations or their currently trending products. Now, the next thing you need to do is once you find a product that you actually like, you need to validate it. So go on social media, go on TikTok, and search up the hashtag TikTok made me buy it, or search up a general description of your product and see what people are saying about it. See if people are selling it, see if it's going viral on Instagram or TikTok. And if it is, then more than likely it's worth selling. That means that people are actually looking into it and people are finding interest and value in that particular product. Now, one big thing that I also need all of you to keep in mind with this is the fact that products are going to change. Trends are going to change with time. So one thing that you sold a year ago today could potentially not be relevant. Let's look back maybe about three or four years. Fidget spinners were at an all time high. Everyone was getting them. Everyone was purchasing them for their kids. Everyone was purchasing them for themselves. And anywhere you walked, people would have those little fidget spinners in their hands and they would just be spinning them all day. Now, <laughs> I don't see absolutely anybody with those. That is a perfect example of a trend. Fidget spinners went all the way up. They peaked and then they went right back down. And now nobody wants them anymore. Now it's okay to not sell them. If you still have them in your store, you can take them out because people aren't really going to be buying them anymore. Look, when it comes to offering products and selling different items, some items might not sell. And you know what? That's completely okay. It's going to happen. Not every single product that you offer or that you find is going to be a bestseller. They're not all going to be bangers. The important part is that you realize this before you spend your entire budget on one particular product. If you realize that the marketing for a particular product that you're selling isn't working, try to switch it up. If it's still not working, try a few different things. But at the end of the day, if you're still losing losing money within maybe a couple of weeks or even a month, it might be time to retire that product and the marketing and try to focus that money or that budget on something else. You need to be realistic with yourself. You need to make sure that you're not funneling money into a product that's failing or that's just not getting any traction. Because if you keep doing that, instead of making it to $10,000, you're going to be making it to negative $10,000. And you do not want to do that. Now, once you find a product that actually starts selling and that people are actually interested in, then that's when your profits are going to start coming in. At that point, it's important to not touch those profits for just anything. If you make, let's say a hundred dollars, take 50 of those dollars and put them away. The other 50, take it and reinvest it into your business, either reinvest it into your website or into more product research methods, or even in the marketing for that same item. Once you start making money, don't get too spend happy and spend it on just stuff that isn't going to matter. Make sure you spend it on something that's actually going to benefit you and something that's going to benefit your business. Trust me, a year from now, you're going to thank yourself that you actually spent it on something that's worth it. Like let's say your marketing rather than just a video game or a piece of jewelry. Now, once you actually start finding success with certain products, then eventually you are going to hit a cap. There's going to be a point in time where you're not going to have time to do much of anything because you're either going to be too busy fulfilling orders or you're going to be too busy doing product research, importing your products, whatever it may be. It's going to get to a point where you're just going to be too busy to keep reinvesting time into your business. At this point, it's really important to start looking into different services that can help optimize or automate your business. For example, AutoDS. If you implement AutoDS into your dropshipping business, then you can pretty much start to become hands off with almost the entire business. Of course, there's still things you're going to have to do. You're going to have to check up on your website, make sure it's updated, do product research, find new and trending products. But when it comes to the actual nicks and knacks of the business, like let's say importing your products, fulfilling your orders, that's all automatically done by the system itself. So you're going to be saving tons of time. Let's take, for example, when you actually have to import your items. When you import 
import an item from a website like let's say aliexpress you need to copy over the title the description all of the different variations the prices it can get very time consuming if you have maybe two or three different items it's all right it's not going to take too long but when you really start scaling and you start importing maybe 20 30 different items you're going to be spending hours just importing products the same goes for fulfilling your orders whenever you fulfill an order manually all you have to do is really just take your customer's information put it into your supplier's website and update your customer with a tracking number once your supplier actually fulfills the order now that seems like something quick and easy until you realize that you need to copy over all of the address details wait for the supplier to actually ship out the item and then update your customer with it. Now, just like with the product importing, that can be fairly quick if you do just two or three different items. But when you start having more and more orders coming in, then you're gonna be spending a lot of time doing that. That's when automation can help you by really streamlining the entire process. Automating your store can really help you get more time back so that way you can reinvest it back into your business so you can keep on scaling. If you follow these tips, then you should easily be able to make it to your first $10,000 and beyond. Remember, hitting your first $10,000 is just the beginning. There's so much more to do after you hit that first goal. Try to set your goal to not necessarily be just making 10 grand, but making 10 grand on a consistent basis. Again, whether monthly or even better, weekly. Now, if you found this video helpful, if you found it informational, if you got any value out of it, please make sure to leave a like. And also remember, as I mentioned earlier, let me know down in the comments below if you actually made it to your first 10K and what you did to be able to get there. Did you do anything special? And is there anything you want any of us to know? Huge thank you to all of you for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. It truly does mean a lot. Once again, my name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time.